What's up, YouTube? It's your main man, Catfish Meat here, and welcome back to another episode of Catfish Meat TV. Today, guys, I'm gonna be showing you how I like to float or fish in low flood water conditions out here. This dam is running about 3,000 cubic feet per second. So I'm gonna just work these current seams and we're gonna see what we can get. You guys stay tuned and enjoy the video. down here as you can see they got the water running at about 3,000 cubic feet per second nice and smooth not too rough so I can keep a cork out there but first I'm gonna throw this one on bottom it's just a, I just got a shad head right here as you guys can see nice and bloody we just gonna throw it out on the back side of this current seam and see see what we can get Throwing it, not throwing it very far, just. All right, guys, I'm gonna lock it in these rocks down here. All right, folks, I got that, got that pole out right now. I'm gonna go throw for these sand bass and these crappie over here in this corner. So I'll be back with you guys. All right, guys. All I'm using is a 1 16th ounce jig head with the Bobby Garland black and chartreuse. As you guys can see, it's the way to go. I'm just throwing right, right on that wall. Let it sit for about three seconds. Rolling back real slow. There we go. There we go, y'all. Nice little sandy guys. Hey, where to go? Got that catfish pole out on the bottom, so don't mind me. Keep looking back at it. I can see a good one. All right, guys, we hooked up again. I mean, they, he just thumped it. He just came and thumped it. Man, these, these white bass fight so hard, especially on this four pound death line guy. And they're good, healthy white bass, too. Good old, healthy white bass. Another one, guys. I mean, right off the bat, that's not fighting like a white bass, but it could be a smaller one. Oh, oh yeah. I love that, man. Look at that. Nice fighting hard white bass. And you can't. As y'all can see, he's biting that. That means it's above his head if they're hitting, if they if that hook's in the top of his mouth. I mean, it's above his head, guys. Going in that notch over here. I'm not letting it sink very deep, just trying to keep that jig above their head. There we go. That thump. That's a thump right there. That's a thump right there. Oh, yeah. I like to see, man. These white bass. This four pound test one. Guys, you see, he just engulfed it. He just engulfed it, guys. Can't even see the jig. Oh, yeah. Go. 
I can see. Why bad? guys well and they had a camera rolling but we got a buffalo in the net right here and uh we're gonna we're gonna cut it up as you guys can see all i'm running is a slip cork rig on one of them and i'm running a dropper loop rig on the other one i'm gonna put it on bottom out there by the by the wall as you guys can see this is the knocker rig that i'm talking about just tie your weight no leader straight beads and and slip cork i got it set at about 26 feet right now so we get this bait cut up you guys need is a small strip guys buffalo is a great a great bait it's a very very uh slept on bait a lot of people don't a lot of people get them and throw them back but like i said in my last bait video these are a very oily fish very oily and catfish love them i'm gonna be throwing right here on the back side of this current seam, letting it drift up against that wall over there. Perfect. And I hit, I hit the hit the wall as you guys can see. He's under. He's under, guys. He probably, oh, there he goes. Get down here and land him, guys. Oh, yeah. Sucker hook got him, guys. That's a good blue. Let's get that circle hook. As you guys can see, I'm just running that. Oh, he wasn't going nowhere. He wasn't going nowhere. Not a bad first fish, guys. You see that? That's a good blue. Really good blue. Pretty white. It's probably about, I'll say about almost close to 10 pounds. He's a good one. All right, guys, we're going to get a release on him. We're going to get a release on him. All right, buddy. We'll get about 50 pounds. Come back to me. All right, guys, I'm going to throw this pork back out. All right, guys, I hooked up. Hooked up on that slip cork again, man. I don't know what this one is. He's fighting a little different. Oh, that's another good blue. That's a good size blue. Oh yeah. That's another five to seven pound blue cat right there. On the slip court. On the slip court. Oh my gosh, this size blue cat. Not too shabby. Let's get a release on him. Go. All right, guys, we're going live perch now. Gonna hook them in. We've been using that buffalo. I'm just gonna hook them through the eyes. 
Hook through our eyes, let him fly. Oh yeah, he's live too. You're gonna be drift fishing them. That's, this is basically drift fishing from the bank, guys. Don't get no better than this. Guys, that takedown. Guys, he slammed it. He slammed it. I'm trying to re rig. I broke my slip fork off. I'm trying to re rig. And he just nailed this pole. He just nailed it. I mean, bowled it over, guys. That's a big, that's a good sized fish right there. This is the one on bottom with the dropper loop rig. Oh, yes. Oh, that's another good blue. That's another good blue. There. Trying to get my other. Oh yeah. Trying to get my. Oh yeah, that's. What, he's fighting his current now. I haven't even had a chance to crappie fish, guys. It's sand bass fish right in here. Oh yeah. God, I mean, it's been fast action today. Fast action. That's probably one of the biggest blues. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, guys. Healthy blues. I mean, he's probably close to 12 pounds right there, guys. That's a good blue. We're gonna get this, get this good old blue unhooked. In. Oh, you gonna act crazy for me? We're gonna get this blue unhooked. In. Got him, guys. Not a bad blue. I mean, good, healthy blue. We're gonna get a release on him. Come on, buddy. Go back to about 50 pounds. All right, guys. Well, that'll be the end of this video today. Kind of slowed down in here, uh, here a little bit. Probably about 12 o'clock, so these fish kind of got locked, y'all. So we're going to get headed out of here. But I appreciate everybody who stayed to the end of this video today. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of Catfish Meets TV. Until then, reel them in. Thank you.